Hey everybody, this is Homeless Bill, and I figured I would do a quick video on a chain fire macro because they are pretty hilarious and not that hard to set up if you know what you're doing. That said, they are kind of a pain in the ass. It's just like get auto hotkey. So I'm going to show you what to do. So first, you need to go get auto hotkey and install it. It will be somewhere here. Um, you don't need to really run the application or anything or read the documentation or any of that shit. Here's what you need to do. Create a new file. Uh, this may actually be in your context menu and if it gives you that option, you should just click that. If it doesn't give you that option, then you just need to change the extension to AHK. Now we're going to call this chain fire. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so now open it in whatever editing program you want. And then in the article or YouTube video something, I have presumably linked the code that you need, which is this. And this is basically set up to work with any number of guns and any gun. So right now, um, the semicolon is, it means it's a comment, which means the compiler doesn't actually look at it. So right now, the AC2 is turned off, and the clan LBX5 is turned on. You can add weapons, just, you know, so if you wanted to do uh, Intersphere AC5 without um, fast fire skill, you'd do cooldown time equals, uh, what is it, 1.66, so... 1660 milliseconds and then make sure if you do that to comment out all of the other ones um, but I don't care about that I totally want to do clan LBX5 so that's what we're gonna do uh, you can set your gun count here so you know if you want to do a 4 AC2 Jaeger and then easily switch it to 6 AC2s for your King Crab you can do that uh, I see a lot of scripts that are just hard-coded you know so this one is pretty flexible. So we're going to do six clan LBX fives. You don't really need to do anything else. Just save it. So I just hit control save, but yeah. So now it's saved. Now you should just be able to double click it. And uh, it compiled and it's running. It's making that noise because left click is no longer left click. It is chain fire and right click is group fire. I'm going to hit F12 to toggle that off for now. And then we're going to go to the game. Bring up the game now. And we're going to go ahead and drop in the testing grounds. Uh, so basically, in game, every weapon needs to be in its own group it's going to be in chain fire so i also have six flamers all on chain fire because this build is a joke build but as you can see one lbx in each weapon group three four five six uh and so now i'm going to hit f12 again to turn the macro back on and if i hit right trigger it's going to group fire sometimes it's a little bit sketchy but once you click a couple of times, it, it wakes up. I don't really know what the hell's going on with that yet. But then the real magic happens, kids. And that's when you hit left trigger. And you get to do this. So, uh, there you go. This makes the 6AC2 King Crab really fun. This makes this build at least more entertaining. Uh, so, yeah. That is a quick and dirty tutorial on how to make macros work. If you have any questions, just ask them in the relevant thread or whatever.